you search through the lonely earth for me Climb through the briar and bramble I'll be your treasure I felt the touch of the kings and the breath of the wind I knew the call of all the songbirds They sang all the wrong words I'm waiting for you I'm waiting for you bad snow but had to get out anyway so I uh, went to the permission with the least amount of snow so it's not too bad in places so it's not like it's sort of doable all right here but you just have to choose where you walk like but uh, for, I've been going quite a while there with nothing really a few bits of scrap lead and stuff and uh, come over here dug this hole and I've got myself a wee musket ball so that's a start anyway but uh, I'll keep on it anyway and stick it out for another while. Along another while there, and uh, this next tree find I'm really pleased with. Um, it's a first for me, and uh, it's an eyes only find. This fella here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, peculiar to find that right in the middle of a field lake. But uh, yeah, we duck. So that's what we have there. Next we find up then is this uh, wee George Sick Thrupney bit. So, first coin anyway. And I uh, want to go for an hour wee while, and I think that might do me. Because it's not heating up on it at all. <laughs> so, it's not. So, stick at it for an hour wee bit. See how it goes. up for me here this hole is uh, it was ringing in about 88 so it was in the desk and it's this uh, George fifth penny so it is so slightly corroded but you can definitely make it out so you can so a wee bit older than the last coin so we're going the right way I'm just in the same area here that I got them two last wee coins and I got the same sort of signal as the last coin there 88 and uh, at a fair idea it was maybe going to be another penny on exact same coin only this one's in much better condition that's a George V penny and uh, let's just turn it over and there's the Britannia side 1921 so happy with that so I'll maybe give this here a wee bit of a going over this area because that's three coins there in this last five minutes so Give it a wee go on For me then, it uh, looks like a coin to me, I haven't just broke it out yet, um, but I'll just break it out here now, see what we'll have, yeah, another coin, in pretty good condition, we'll give a wee look at it, seems to be, I think that's, it's George 6th or 5th, I'll we'll give it a wee clean here and get back to yeah. coin, a wee clean up there, and here, not going to get a half penny in much better shape than that. That's uh, George V, 1920. Happy with that. Still in the same area here, just going up and down in lines, and we've got an hourly half penny here, but this is uh, a Queen Victoria. So it is, so a wee bit older again, and again it's in very nice condition, I should get the date off that when I get home. So I don't mind digging them at all when they're in that condition, that's that's good stuff, so it is. So, happy with that. Um, this is the next wee find here, and I can just see the edge of it here, and it's literally about an inch down, and it looks to me like another coin. 
and it is indeed yeah see what we'll have this time on our penny yeah see what we have I give it a wee clean up and get back to you have another wee George fifth penny I think that's 19 it's maybe 1917 I think maybe but uh, not just as in good condition but happy enough for that now and uh, really happy the way the desk is working here it's like this is pretty trashy this field a lot of iron and stuff and rubbish about and it seems to be sifting through it pretty well here on the hot program so definitely happy with the with the machine now yeah on the next I'm still in this wee area here and I uh, can't believe it another penny but this time uh, of an Irish penny that's the harp side there and it's 1941 and again in pretty good condition too yeah it's a chicken penny so happy with that getting all sorts of ranges of coppers here so I'm um, so hopefully I can pick out a wee silver if there's one floating about Coin there, coin there. I've another signal here, and it's somewhere here. I got it with a pinpointer uh, here. Um, just checking. Hopefully another coin, but not just as good a signal. Uh, let's see. Sure, can see nothing. That and no, I've no idea what that is, but it's certainly not a coin. <laughs> so it's like a squashed bit of lead, I think. Anyway, Same moving on. Story again, and if we're looking down in here, I can just see the edge of another probably penny. So I'll just hook it out here and again it looks to be in very good condition again. Uh, looks like an R George V. Very wipe here. Yeah, I think that is George V, yeah. And there's Britannia on that side. So going well. Just need to get myself a silver if I can pick one out. Right, on to the next item up is this. And I'm not sure if that's maybe part of a buckle or what that is. A slight wee bit of a design on there, so not sure about that. But something different on it. An hour while there, and uh, I've actually came back over. I started sort of here and worked my way on, so I've come back. I'm going to do this here a bit closer to the gate here and got myself another penny. So I'll just give this a wee wipe and see what we have. Yeah, now George V. Looks like I've clipped that one with a spade too. <laughs> so it does, but again, pretty good condition. down from that last penny down here and I've got myself another George V but uh, looks like that one has seen the ply or something it's completely cutting off so not bad a couple of minutes there and have myself another penny this time what have we it's Britannia and that's George V again And again, lovely condition, lovely colour to them coins. Yeah, happy with that again. I've never dug as many coins as this. 
as quick. Uh, again, an hour penny, the look of it, and uh, just crack it open. And yet again, great condition. I'll give it a wee clean here and get a look at it. So it's an hour wee Irish penny, and it's uh, I think it's 1928. So an hour nice wee one for the collection. Got myself an hourly George V half penny. Happy days. So the wife has just called me there and I'm gonna have to head back here. I'm not that far from home but she has come home and from work there without without a key to get in. So uh, I was just doing my last stripe of the field and I can't believe it. I've got myself a wee silver. Um yeah, George V. And that's I knew there had to be a silver in here with all these uh, with all these uh, coppers I was getting and I've just missed out on the full silver that's 1922 six pence and again that's lovely condition so that has just literally ended on a great note so over the moon that